Hello there. I'm going to be pinning this straight and I thought I would just share what I do, how I do this with you. Let me see if that, that's a little bit better. Are you going to need some tools? You're either going to need a uh, vise with an anvil like this and I have a little hole in there uh, for the pin. You'll see why later. Or you can use almost anything. I, I use this for the longest time thing. It's just uh, a solid piece of aluminum that I got at a scrap yard. And I, I've got my hole drilled in it. I use that for years. And if this is all that I had, it works just fine. But I have this, so this is what I use now. But you can, you can find it cheap. I think this probably costs five bucks, something like that. Uh... Well worth it. So you're going to need that and you're going to need some kind of ball peen hammer. This is an 8 ounce hammer. Most people recommend a 4. But this is what I could find. You just have to be light. Anyway, you're supposed to be light anyway. Uh, and then of course your rods. Your brass rod or, or nickel silver depending on what you want. And little washers. I don't know if you can now, I don't know what the size is. Uh, I get my pinning material from Maggot Razors. They sell a little kit in the brass or in the nickel silver. Now some people use these washers to go in between the blade and the scales. It depends if I'm using wood scales or horn scales or anything like that then I will but most of the vintage blades that you see and what we're going to be pinning now is a vintage blade. Most of them never had any of that in between the scale and the razor. And so I don't put them back. But this one we're going to rescale this. Let me put it. We'll get to that in a minute. But you're also going to need a good pair of side cutters. And a small fine bastard file. Now, a couple of other things that I use that are, in my opinion, really helpful is a little bit of sandpaper. This is, I believe, it's right around 1,000 or 2,000 grit, maybe 800. It's not that vital. And then I have two little pieces of aluminum. One has a smaller hole drilled and one has a larger hole drilled so that if I use just these smaller washers, I would use this and if I use if I double up washers which I sometimes do and put those larger washers on the outside and then a smaller washer on it kind of like a stacked washer going on then the one with the bigger hole and I'll explain what that's for later but uh, the razor we're working on today is a Morsefelder Buffalo New York uh, The person that I got it from used these uh, screws, bolts, micro bolts. I hate these things. I've had it for ages. I'm going to take these bolts off now and pin it like it's supposed to be. So the first thing I'm going to do, if you look at this razor, it's well centered in this. So I'm going to take some uh, needle nose pliers. And the first thing I'm going to do is pin this wedge. So we're going to set these off to the side and save them. And what I'm going to do, because I know that that pin is roughly the same size, I'm going to look at my uh, pin material. And since you nip it off with these side cutters, what I want to do is to make sure I get rid of any burr that might be there so that it'll go through the scales a bit easier. And I'm just going to, all I'm going to do is
I want that hole to stay centered like it's supposed to. And there, it's coming through the other side now. So, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this in this hole. And actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to push out a little bit. Because what I want to do, I'm going to set it in this hole. And I want it to bottom out in that hole. And then, what I'm going to do, so I'm going to take these two washers. That's not what I, these two pieces of metal, this is not what I normally use them for. But I'm going to put it there. Actually, first thing I'm going to do is put a washer on this pin if I can get it to go alright Let's try that again. There. I'm going to take this, set it in that hole, make sure it's bottoming out right. And I'm going to take these two little I'm going to set them on that washer edge. And that's what I'm going to use to kind of get a uniform height. So then what you want to do Is flatten that out. You don't want to take too much off because you need enough to be able to peen. But you want that flush and stand by. I gotta go get my headset. And then it's just a matter of placing this in here. You take your ball peen hammer. Now you hear how lightly I'm tapping that? This brass is soft. And what you want to do is you want to tap this really, really lightly until it mushes over, mushrooms over. But you don't want that brass pin to bend. If you look at some of the posts on some of the See how I'm choking up to that on some of the forums. You'll see people making recommendations when people say, well, my, my pin is loose at the pivot point. And uh, I need to tighten it. What do I do? And people will say, well, take the back of a spoon. And you might say, well, a spoon, the back of a spoon... That's not going to do anything. Yes, it will. Because you're just barely hitting this. It takes hundreds of taps on a straight razor pin. If you want to do it the right way. And avoid it bending, kinking, carrying on, and causing you more problems than it is worth and so that's pretty good for now so what I'm going to do I'm going to turn it over we'll paint some more on that side later and put the second the washer on this other side on 
And we're going to do the same thing we did with that last one. You want to watch when you do this. Not to scratch up or file onto your scales, which can be done very easily if you if you're not careful. Get all that dust off of there from filing, and then there we go again. And you, you notice I'm tapping my, I'm subtly moving this ball peen head in sort of a, a random pattern around and across and, hat, you know, side to side or whatever what I'm doing is I wanted to peen evenly. And I want it to be round. But I can kind of feel with my the pad of my finger when these two are close to the same actually and what you want to do another thing I just did and it makes a difference is you want to look I don't know if I can show it to you Here and here, if that is not laying up against the wedge, the chances are, you know, your pin, well, your pin is not going to be tight. You want to squeeze that and kind of And it's a process. You just got to keep at it till everything looks right, everything feels right. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing when I do this, but I'm just looking at it and feeling it and trying to see if it if it's right or not. Right now, does it center like it did before? It does. So I've not moved the uh, scale here or the wedge in any way. Time for the hinge pin now. Put my little washer in there. <coughs> 
do like this to get it nice and flat so that it will clean up pretty. Put a washer on her. Paint her down. All right, I don't know how much I lost. My camera basically timed out and stopped recording. But the razor's tightening up now. If you look, it's centering on the scales well. So now what I want to do is I want to count exactly. I'll do like a hundred at a time on each side. This is the way I do it. You can do what you want. But I want to basically do the same amount on this side as I do on that side and vice versa. Want to look at it? I know you see guys and they go well if it's moving that way tap the top of the pin this way or whatnot well I've tried all those things what I'm gonna do is now that's pretty tight so I'm gonna kind of try to give it some English see if the scales will center all by themselves now that I have it where I want it. They're not moving. But yeah. And that's pretty close to center 
right there. They close a little bit too quick though. So let me see. Let's try. Beautiful. A couple more swipes. There we are. Doesn't move those scales, those razors in that scale the way that it's supposed to be. All right, now remember these little things. Well, I want to take this sandpaper and I want to. pretty up those pins just a little bit and circular motions work best here and actually the larger one is probably going to work better in this instance but it's whatever you find that works I just took a drill bit and And you can do it this way too if you want. It won't hurt nothing. As long as you don't do like I just did and kind of mar up or dirty up the scale there. But that can be cleaned. I didn't hurt anything. Just dirt off the sandpaper. And Here's some 1K paper. I know this is 1K. That piece of paper I was just basically guessing on. Alright. Well, that's it. 
Now what I'll do, first of all, I'll need to, to clean my hands. And I'll clean these scales. Then I'll take a loop and look along that edge, make sure that it wasn't damaged. Drop it again, check it with HHT, all that, make sure that it's still shave ready. But that's the way you do it. Bless you. Thanks for watching. Later.